they will give you clear that you can use your hand and get more friends because since you are the perfect person, you can never make mistakes. So you haven't had a sit down video in a while, and I'm excited for it. So, guys, if you know you have a hard time making friends or maintaining friends, especially if you're in your 20s or your late 20s when you're busy with work, you guys are no longer in university, so there's no time for you to always be with your friends. You're wondering how you can maintain friendships so that in your 30s you'll not be wondering, Yeah, all my friends, what happened to my friends? I'm going to help you with a few tips that will help you maintain your friendship. But before we get into all of that, my name is Fivo Amanze. To the newcomers here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. My entire subscribers is always back. And the first mistake people make when it comes to maintaining friendships is that they forget that friendships are also relationships that needs to be worked on. Like they forget that the main vital thing, this is the first thing I'm going to be giving is communication. Communication is paramount in every relationship. For a relationship to grow, you have to be able to communicate. There's nothing like a time apart or not communication for a long time will make the heart grow fonder. No, let me forget about you. I put you in the back burner because we're not talking anymore. I don't know why it's very hard for a lot of people to communicate. Even if you don't like phone calls, there are a lot of ways to communicate. Like there are sharing of memes, there are text messages, there are calling. If you guys are not in the same area, these are different form of communication. Calling is still going to be the number one thing that you have to do. You have to call your friends if they are still your friends. You have to call them. You have to like phone them and be like, okay, hello, this is this is how was your day and all of this. Even if you don't speak to them every day, you still have to make time to call. Now, the other kind of communication you can do is the one me and my friends do. Especially Jessica, she stays in, a, in Abuja. She doesn't speak close. What she does is she sends me memes and they're funny. We still laugh and all of that. That is a way of communicating. Technology has made it easy for you to be able to communicate with your friends. So if you're not communicating with them, maybe you don't want them to be friends with you anymore. They don't want to be their friends. There's no excuse why you cannot communicate. There's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Snapchat. Yeah, there's so many apps that you can use to communicate with your friends. If you're not using it, are you not asking yourself the question, maybe I don't want this person to be my friend? Because it's not a big deal to communicate. If you're expecting your boyfriend to call you every day, why are you not expecting to speak to your friend at least once time, once a week or twice in a month? I mean, twice in a month is a lot, but twice in a month can also work. You need to come up with a schedule on how to speak to your friend. Like, do you guys understand what friendship means? I feel like a lot of people don't understand it. I've had friends for 15 to 20 years now, so I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I think I'm pretty good at having friends. And even when I fuck up, like with the communication, I still find a way to apologize and try to do better. So call your friends, or maybe you don't want them to be friends anymore, then maybe you can tell them that and just move on. But why are you not calling them? Like, I don't see the point. Like, how can you have friends that you don't communicate with? So how is the friendship supposed to be? There's a substance stay in the back burner. Whenever you're ready, you just go and pick them out. So you can make out time to communicate with your friends. There's no excuse why you're not communicating. Communicate with them. The second point I'm going to give is spend time together. Spending time is important. There are a lot of things you can do. And you can get to know what is going on in your friend's life when you guys spend time together. Make out time to go on friendship dates. Friendship dates are important. There are so many things that you can do when you're on friendship dates. You can go for picnic, swimming. Go on regular dates and sit down and get to know each other. Oh, with going on dates with your friends. If you're going to invest time in your relationship, your sexual relationship, why won't you invest time in your friendships too? The friendship date is important. It is very, 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 very important to make out time to go on dates with your friends. Now, if your friends are not close, they are far away from you. That can be like an issue. You do what? There's one thing that Alia Face does. She's a YouTuber. What she does is she and her friends make out time for a date. They do movies where they, everybody's on video call and they just put like a movie on the screen. They are watching it, they are discussing, they are getting to know each other, catching up. So if you can't make time that you can't travel to your own friend's state to go and see her because it's far, there's money, like the money involved, all of that, it's just too much. Do that kind of video calling where you can guys chat, but spend time with them. Spend time reading books, spend time doing sleepovers, spend time with your friends. This is how the bond grows. This is how when you're far away from your friend, they're still thinking about you, oh, I miss her and all of that. If you don't do all these things, how can you plan on maintaining friendship? I'm sorry. Like, you need to meet your friends. You need to spend time with them. The third one is be willing to forgive. If you follow me on TikTok, you wouldn't have already touched on this subject. But it's insane to me. Like, it's literally insane to me how a lot of pressures you guys put on female friendship that you don't put on your relationship. You do not forgive your friends for any slight mistake. There's always the need of... You're expecting them to be perfect. You're not willing to forgive mistakes that they made. 
somebody make a mistake, not saying that the person is a consistent behavior, then that is when there's a problem. It's not every single thing somebody does that the person is toxic. Sometimes somebody is going to be human and make mistakes. Nobody on earth is Jesus Christ. Nobody can be Jesus Christ. People are bound to make mistakes. If you're willing to forgive your boyfriend who has cheated on you 20 times with everybody that you know, why are you unwilling to forgive your friend? I have seen so many charts about, like, um, I'm holding them to higher, a higher standard because they should have known better. Why are you holding them to higher standard? Holding your friend to a standard that is impossible. Like, you're not willing to forgive. Forgiveness is paramount in friendship because people can mess up. I'm not talking about when they do something like so bad, but every small slight something, you need to cut them off. You're going on TikTok, anything that, that you just see on TikTok when they say, if your friend does this, cut them off, you're cutting your friends off. Like, they're human beings, you're cutting. After cutting everybody off, only you will stay. Yes, now, because you don't want to forgive anybody for their mistake, then only you will stay now. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That will open your jaw that I will not allow you to forgive your friends, but you are going to forgive that stupid man that you should have broken up with by now. Pisses me off about a whole lot of things. It's impossibility to have conversations with your friends and tell them what is doing you. You keep it in your mind, let it be boiling your chest. You will not be squeezing your you will not forgive them. You could have had the conversation be an adult and be like, okay, when I did this and you didn't do this, I felt you hurt my feelings. You did this. Then you have a conversation like an adult and then she, you hear her response. Then you can figure out if you want to forgive or not. But constantly, just any small thing, you are cut off your. Maybe they will give you clear that you can use your hand and mold friends because since you are the perfect person, you can never make mistakes. They will give you mold, you go and mold your own person and move on like that. Like since you are Jesus Christ now, they'll give you clear, you go and build your own person. Everybody rest. Since you will not forgive, since you are our separate, you will not forgive. Uh -huh. You go and mold your own person. And this is still in line of forgiveness. You need to be able to say you're sorry. Jesus Christ, a lot of people that are narcissists in this world. I pray you never end up with any friendship like that. And you cannot say sorry. Like you are God of all, Jesus Christ, the amazing. You cannot apologize. That is a big problem. If you cannot say sorry, we will not be talking because I cannot play like that. If I fuck up my friends, I say sorry. I forget to call them. If I make mistake, I say sorry. I will apologize because let I me mean, fuck up. Why can't you say sorry? Are you like what is your problem? Why can you not say sorry? Your inability to apologize and always thinking that everybody should bow down and worship is a problem. And the reason why some of your friends don't even want to talk to you anymore. Because why are you feeling too big to apologize? When we used to be young, we would say, mm, not anybody would do that, make me say sorry. Me, I will not apologize so. Ah. We were young, we were kids. That's excusable. You're a grown woman now. So just say sorry. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry because I did this. Don't just say sorry and move on. Like, she doesn't want to accept it, I leave. I mean, you don't want person to be your friend. And if you don't want person to be your friend, then that means this video is not even for you, Seth. And when you apologize, also understand that you need time to forgive you. It's not when you say sorry now, you'll be like, ah, then she will not accept. That's a problem. So learn to apologize. It's actually going to be helpful to your relationship when you learn to apologize. The fifth tip I'm going to give is be honest with your friends. You guys should share an honest relationship. Be authentic with each other. When you're going through stuff, tell them. I know that a lot of people do not like to share their ship, their dark secrets with their friends because they feel like they would like spill the beans then maybe that person should not be your friend everybody deserves a support system and your friends are your support system it's okay when you're going through things for you to tell them okay this is what i'm going through now if they match your energy and they're like telling you back their own stuff and you're telling them that is how friendship grows if not focus on the friends who may who match your energy like who share their problems with you who like tell you stuff don't always feel like okay i don't want to tell them stuff because i just want to feel like i don't want them to feel like i'm a body if you're there, you're really your friends, they're not going to see you as a body. So share the things that are going on with you in your life. It, it is very, very painful for you to go through all these stuff alone, for you to be in pain, and then you have people who care about you and you don't tell them. It's painful to them too to know that you cannot trust them to tell them what is going on with you. So anytime you see yourself going through stuff and then you're in pain, like emotional pain, like you're going through stuff that you cannot handle on your own, it's okay to tell your friends. Even if they're not close to you. You still speak to them. You call them on the phone and you be like, okay, babes, this is what is going on with me. This is this. That is it. You guys can be authentic with yourselves when you can share things. If you had followed the first, if you follow the first tips that I gave, your friendship would have grown to the extent that you can tell them stuff that is happening in your life. Do not go through life alone. It is miserable to go through life alone where you don't want to tell your friends. All you want to do is show them the good part, laughing and kicking with them without actually showing them what is going on in your life. If you're not going to willing to share with your friends, they are not your friends. 
You need to focus on making friends who actually will be there for you when you're going through shit. The last tip I'm going to give is understand that your friends are their own person and allow them to be their own person. Allow them to make their own mistakes. See, I don't know. I have to say this because a lot of people complain and say things like, I see a lot of potential in my friend. Only if she would maximize it and do this and do that. Forgetting that the human being who has her own struggles, who has her own this, it's a good thing that you see potential in your friend, but she's going to have to make her own decisions. You can advise her career-wise or relationship-wise, how you feel like her life will be better or the things that, things that she needs to change in her life for her life to be better. And she doesn't have to accept your advice. She might decide a different path wants to go that is her life her friend is an, a person on her own she has the right to choose how her life wants to go no matter how you feel like if you do this your life will be great if you do this your life will be better it's still not your position you're not in a position to change somebody's life you don't make all your friends your project of fixing you want to fix them they're not a house that you need to fix you don't fix your option they're their own person you might see all the potentials in them and feel like this is how their life will be better but it's still not your decision to make at the end of the day so you need to allow them to make their own decision and be their own person and all that being said friendship is a beautiful thing especially female friendships you can conquer the world when you have friends at your back when you have female friends you can do everything you will not have to walk the world alone you don't have to live life alone when you have good friends i hope you put in time and effort into growing your friendship because it's a beautiful thing whether you like it or not friendships are beautiful like once you have female badass badass friends beside you you can do anything so I hope you focus on growing your friendship. So I hope this video helps you build a more authentic friendship. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye my loves.